Welcome back to Traces of Twan's Life. Thank you for tuning in today to watch my video. If you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe now and also click the notification bell so that YouTube will automatically notify you whenever I upload a new video. Also, go ahead and hit the thumbs up for me on this video as well as comment on here and share it to some of your social media platforms. I wanted to discuss with you all today something that I did kind of personal. On one of my previous videos, I mentioned to you all that you can get the seller to give you assistance on your um, down payment or closing costs. So when I brought my current home that I have now, which is my first home, I purchased this home 14 years ago. When I purchased this home, I came out to meet with the actual seller to look at the house and everything. And um, when I looked at the house, she told me right away that she already had three other potential buyers. And I said to her, well, this house has to be for me. And she asked me, well, why do you say that? And I said, because it's everything I've been praying for. I said, I have been praying and asking God for certain things. Um, and I see everything in this home. So one of the things that I mentioned to her was ironic that burgundy is my favorite color. The living room wall inside of the living room had an accent. One of the walls was accent painted with um, the burgundy color. And the kitchen was painted in yellow. Ironically, pineapple is my favorite fruit and I had already purchased all these pineapple decor to go into my kitchen and then I wanted a garden tub of course and the home had um, a garden tub in the master one of my daughters she wanted her room to be decorated in Wendy the Pooh and the decor that we had previously purchased had this really pretty um light greenish color in a design and ironically one of the bedrooms was painted green so it's like little things like that that I uh, was able to tell her why I just knew this house was the home for me. Well, about a week later, she called me to come meet with her um, to go and sit down and do the contract for the home. And she asked me at that time, you know, can I put down um, $1,000 because she wanted to make sure that I was really, really, you know, interested in a home and that I was serious before she made the commitment to give me the home what to allow me to purchase the home and I don't know what it was but it was it was nothing but God to be honest with you because um, like I said I had been praying this whole time God had me to write her a letter and I'm gonna share with you all the letter that I wrote 14 years ago I actually found the letter this morning and um, I wanted to share it with you all the letter says Greetings to you. I pray that when you read this letter, that you will be in great spirit, mind, and peace. I just wanted to share with you my excitement for purchasing your home. Let me let you in on an accomplishment you and I have achieved. You have helped me change a statistic. The statistic of teenage mothers would never be anything also teenage mothers will have to depend on the state's welfare system for the rest of their life i was 17 years old when i got pregnant with kiana my 13 year old daughter the next year at 18 i gave birth to her and graduated from high school with three and a half credits more than the required credits needed to graduate. I ended up pregnant with Diamini, my 11 year old daughter. I was 19 with two children living in the project. I could have stayed home with my parents. However, I made up in my mind that I needed to make a difference. I went to school for nursing assistant, medical assistant, and then medical coding. In March of 2006, I passed a five hour national exam to better my career as a certified medical coder through the American Academy of Professional Coders. I now have one year of schooling left to achieve an AS degree in health information management. I have come a long way through the grace of God. 
Also, both of my daughters are in advanced classes in middle school. Kiana is taking Algebra 1 this year and will receive a high school credit for it. She has also been inducted into the National Honor Society in Washington, D.C. Your home is in a great location for my girls to be raised in. I will feel safe with them growing up around middle class people. Now, I'm less than 30 days away from being a homeowner. I prayed and worked hard for this for three years. Three long years, y'all. It wasn't easy. It was a journey. Three long years of paying off debt, getting my credit right. Okay, back to the letter. I know that the Lord touched your heart to assist me with my dreams of being a homeowner and not a statistic. I thank you so much. When I prayed this morning, I asked God to never forget about you. You will always prosper in life because you have a blessing. You have been a blessing to a child of God. I will always remember and keep you and your family in my prayers. That's a letter I wrote the homeowner and when I met with her to give her the thousand dollars and to sign the contract saying that I agreed that I want to purchase the home for the price that she was willing to sell it. When she began to read the letter, tears began to flow from her face and she had to stop. She said, I cannot continue to read this letter. I have to take it home and read it when I'm by myself. And I was like, okay, take your time. And we continued with the breakfast and discuss things with the home. She ended up giving me a call after everything was over with. She gave me a call. I want to say maybe two or three days later, she gave me a call. And she began to elaborate on the letter. And she told me that she made the decision to allow me to purchase her home based off of the letter that I wrote her. And she said to me, you just don't know, this house is my baby. This is the first thing that I ever done that I felt accomplished. And, you know, and she explained to me the reasons why she was selling it. And she said, it was, it's hard for me to let go of my baby. But when I read your letter and she said, I just had this feeling that came all over me. And I said, honey, it's nothing but God. And she said, this is what I want to do for you. Not only do I want to allow you to purchase my home, but I'm going to give you $2,500 towards your closing costs. And then at that moment, I began to just cry over the phone and just like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I couldn't help but just, you know, just glorify the Lord at that moment with her on the phone. You know, and I, of course, I told her, you know, how much I appreciated it and everything. I wanted to share this with you all because it's something that you can do yourself to try to um, see if, you know, you can persuade the seller to allow you to be the one to purchase their home if they're silver um, buyers that have put in a bid or uh, whatever you call it, have, you know, put in um, interest in purchasing a home. Uh, I'm not saying that this is gonna automatically get the seller to give you Closing costs, but however it could, because it worked for me. I, I had no intentions on the seller giving me anything for closing costs. My intentions was to stress to the seller um, how much I wanted to purchase her home, you know, by showing her how hard I worked for it. So I'm just sharing it with you all. It's up to you if you want to, you know, use my advice or not it worked for me who knows it could work for you so if you try it and it worked please come back to this video and share your experience with me please i will i will really be looking forward um to seeing some comments later in the future um from a, a lucky or what not, i wouldn't say a lucky a blessed home buyer that has experienced the same thing that i did and it worked 
It may not work to get you more money for closing costs, but it may get you um, a home. You may be the lucky buyer, well, the blessed buyer that the seller decides to give the home to. I just want to share that with you. Um, I don't have anything else. Please, please, please come back to my channel to um, watch more videos. I have some more things coming up for you all. If you haven't seen anything so far that you're um, interested in, please add a comment and let me know. Hey, Tuan, can you speak on this? Hey, Tuan, can you speak on that? Can you elaborate a little bit more on one of your previous videos? I'm here for you. I'm here for the comments. I'm here for the suggestions. I'm here for the criticism as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye.